We're coming out of captivity, prophesies Chuck Pierce. Also, no beginnings and endings and blessings running over in 2018. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome to VFN TV. I'm Greg Lancaster and joining me, of course, is John Ramos. Is this not exciting prophetic words? It's very exciting. We're getting to hear the word of the Lord for 2018. Introduce this first prophetic word. Listen, we want to hear from you too, by the way. You know, we're telling you what this word means to us, but we want to hear what this word means to you. John. This is exciting because Chuck Pierce begins to talk about uh, we'll leave what 2018 actually means. You know, we follow in, in the United States 2018 calendar, of course, Hebrew calendars 578, and he does an amazing job of connecting what these both, the, by the numbers, what these years mean. Watch this. Now, I, I have uh, uh, all, all three of the prophets that are here today are personal friends, but uh, I really appreciate the gift that Chuck Pierce has brought to the body. Uh, one of the things you have revealed to us is the understanding from uh, ancient Israel of understanding uh, how to have access to God, how to worship God. Even the year that we're in now, 2018, those <clears throat> numbers have meaning in Hebrew and in English. Unpack it for us. Now, Sid, the real issue came when the Lord visited me when I was 18. And when he visited me, he visited me and revealed himself as the God of Israel. It was in 1972, and from then on, he unveiled his word from being who he is to me. Now, with that, I have always looked from a Hebraic perspective. And what he did, my family had gotten messed up in their provision, and I think I shared that the last time I was here. And the inheritance that I had, now I was over it as the firstborn. And the Lord spoke to me and said, I can restore what you've lost. But what he said, you're going to have to understand first fruits. He spoke to me out of Proverbs 3. So my whole life has been going back to understand the firstborn, to understand the first power of first fruits, the celebration the Lord has for us every month, to, to go from blessing to blessing to blessing to blessing overtakes you. Now, I think that's what I heard Hank say. We are coming into a place this year where it will be a now moment for us, a now moment where you'll hit a moment in your life and all of a sudden, a blessing overtakes you. And that comes because we have returned to God's order. That's what this year is about. Eights are always linked with new beginning and first. They're linked with the prototype. Seven, you're completing. Eight, you're beginning. This year is like a new beginning for all of us. Now, it's 2018 on our calendar here, and what is it on the Jewish calendar? In the Jewish calendar, it's 5778. So you can see it a little different from a Jewish perspective, from a covenant perspective, because 70 is different than 10. See, whatever year you're in, whatever calendar you, you, you're in, you're in the eight year. That means you're in this new beginning. Eight is also linked with gate. But in Hebrew, see, 10 means testimony. In Hebrew, it means you're coming out of captivity. 70 is linked with ayan, God watching you. The Lord is watching you come out of captivity into the testimony for your future this year. I speak that over America. I speak that over the nations. I say this year we're coming out of captivity and we're coming into a new prototype to move forward into the kingdom of God plan that he has this year. I can so feel that. You know, yeah. it was like no matter how hard you were working, you felt like this, you were moving through sludge. You are moving through a thick cloud of... of difficulty and a lot of contention in the atmosphere and uh kind of felt like that for the last seven eight years yeah i mean definitely and just kind of pushing through and you can see this because you wrestle not against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness and that 
that this this new beginning, this 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 uh, this birthing in this whole new area, going through this gate is exciting, yeah. and I can f I can kind of feel it as I was coming. I can, you can just feel that. Sure. You know, I know some of, some of you right now. You know, you're feeling that you've been under this great oppression. You've been feeling it. You know, and you're what happens if you've been under for a while? You're thinking it's just never going to be any relief. It's not, it's not going to ever change. Well, the Lord's saying, not only is it going to change, it is changing. But I want, we want to hear from you. We want, we want you to take a moment and communicate with us. You know, you know comment and let us know. We, we'll, we'll talk back to you. But we want to hear what you have to say. Email us or just right below. Just give us a comment. Have you been under that kind of heaviness and stuff? Does this word bearing witness with you? And just kind of tell us a little bit about it. You know, maybe we might not have the answer, but someone in our community Absolutely. You know, will have the answer there. Because this is exciting. We have to receive the word of the prophet to get the prophet's reward. And so be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.